yeah good evening guys welcome back to the cool gravity design training happy new year to you all uh, it's your boy deco graphics i brought you this evening on how you can manipulate an image on your android smartphone using your pc lab as you all know that pc lab is one of the easiest application that we can lay our hand outside there to manipulate any kind of images not only basic design but you can do some of uh, 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 professional manipulation editing images specifically adding one or two objects together and use it to form or communicate a particular messages so in this tutorial at the end of the tutorial you are going to learn how you can bring one or two objects manipulate it together edit it to bring out a particular uh, 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 a particular design so without wasting much of our time let's get started the first thing we need to know is to uh, uh we what are the kinds of elements we are going to manipulate i've gathered all the resources and i've given it a well thought so let's start the first thing is to bring up the background so i have this background being done here aside for us to make uh, to make the design fast and what i did was this i went to directly to my gradient then i have a deep blue i select the deep deep blue as you can see then i allow the second one to be something like that the second one those are the two key uh, uh, color which I'm, i combine together then after that i have this amazing result so after that the next thing i'm thinking we should do since we don't have blending we need to blend this here but what can we do to blend this so we need to quickly go to our piece art if it work but if it doesn't work there's no any cause for alarm we need to move on with our manipulation so the uh, uh, piece art will allow us to blend our images so take it for instance we have this so then we go to the add image after open our piece art then we locate where we have that white uh, 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 radiation then after that we increase the size to make it fitting here yeah. after fitting it in then we'll go to blending let's see whether we select screen multiply darken overlay lighting no work overlay okay overlay no work adding no work so which means we can uh, uh, make use of this anyway we can because the ways of how we seen it uh the 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 design was actually uh, done using the photoshop but i want to come up with something using this particular uh, method so now after since we can get that the next thing we are going to do is to just uh, bring up other things let's take it for instance we are going to bring this in then instead of blending i'm going to manipulate it so i'm going to reduce the opacity the objective is to just allow the line to be showing underneath then after that i will go to my sticker so tapping it click on the sticker and this will pop up so after you have this what can you do to make this one work so what we can do is to just uh, reduce the size then you go to opacity reduce the opacity and send it to the back if possible already adding color to this white color to make it work then we have it lock okay perfect so now that we have that add the middle then the next thing i'm thinking we should do is to manipulate this let's just adjust it then why we make this one to somehow lighter a little bit okay perfect so after that the next thing we are going to do is to go to we we'll go back to our gallery so i'll get into our gallery we are going to bring this particular can bring it here then we are going to position it at the center after positioning then we can reduce the size a little bit now go to relative position make sure you position it to the center heading back to the gallery we have going to import this which is the logo so we are going to import that to stand at the bottom we lock it heading back to our gallery as well the next thing we are going to do is to bring in let's bring this ice pack 
then we are going to position it to the center as you can see but one thing that we are going to do we don't want it to exceed that but it has to be around there okay perfect so we are going to do a kind of a little manipulation here to make the thing all work so what we are going to do next is just to go to our mask enable the mask click on the movement just move it up a little bit then we are going to blend it at this junction tap here then you blend it <coughs> excuse go to reduction reduce this size okay <clears throat> for us to be able to move it then you move it in now we can manipulate the way we want so we need to adjust this towards the bottom okay perfect perfect so now we have the whole work at our hands so we have this then the next thing we are going to do is to click ok what are we doing then we are going to copy so after copy go back to the mask then click out so when you click out you should be able to have this particular result okay perfect now position to the center so the previous one should be positioned to the center as well after making it to rhyme so what we're going to do is to bring this back so that we have something at the back so we are going to move the two up a little bit so select then you drag it to the top okay drag it to the top so we have this okay perfect perfect okay okay so the next thing we are going to do the one at the bottom we need to reduce the opacity so you go to the opacity reduce the opacity reduce the opacity so if possible we are going to still adjust okay we are going to adjust it so let it work without traces okay cool cool so the next thing we are going to do just to cover this particular mess we are going to try something new now so we are going to lock everything okay so in essence since we are able to clear the images here you can see everything there's nothing at the top anymore so we have everything locked so after locking it we are going to tap on the empty area where we have this particular feature so we are going to use that to cover this mess here so we tap okay sorry tap empty area then we are going adding back to the color after tapping on it go to the color enable the color then we click on this so that we'll be able to use it to cover this particular area copy continue copy and placing until there won't be there's no traces until there's no traces of this particular error again so when you place it i know that place will be somehow darker than other you place it position it to the right hand side since there's no blending we don't have blending but we need to improvise so when you look at it there's no any traces anymore but there is something different so what we need to do is to just uh, delete the whole thing so it seems this one is very obvious the blending is very obvious so delete it <laughs> delete so we have only this one now so we're heading back to our color then we'll make it uh, more deeper anyway so position position it so after position we have this so let's check we have this 
copy we have something like this change the color is okay there copy cover this mess here copy change the color to something like dark everything should be dark position it here okay perfect now change the color again so that it won't be anything much copy position copy position so now when you look at it that mess has already uh, uh, has already erased you know, you can you can bring out little one use it to copy this area too so everything is actually blend and it form a kind of a design then when you look at it we are able to place it properly now the next thing we are going to do after that what we are going to do next we are going to add into our back gallery okay so we bring this particular object so which we are going to position here but we have to make it work we want to make it look like original how can we do that so what we are going to do next is to we are going to use the skills of our mask this is where the mask is necessary so i first of all hide every uh, lock everything so after locking it position it to the center then we are going to use our mask so clicking on the mask we are going to first of all need to re reduce the size then we move it so when you move it we move it to this particular area so now use it to cut out cut out some parts okay cut out some parts cut out okay cool cut out some part very good so after that all i'm just going to do next is to click ok after clicking ok copy when you copy you come back to the mask sorry you come back to the mask and you click out okay sorry let cancel you need to copy first when you copy you go back to the mask then you click out when you click out you are going to reposition reposition very well position very well so let the mouth let it eat the mouth then you send it to the back so let it go to the back just measure it to, to reach the back okay okay so you need to play well and you need to study well this should be front then the the back we need to just uh, click on back click on back so now we have the whole thing accurately right okay let's just move we need to make it work to look original right so when you check it you discover that everything is uh it's right now so what we need to do next is to just uh, click on here then we click on white so let it be radiating so we click blur radio should be 25 so increase the x as well a bit and the y offset y should be something like 9 or 10 as well let it radiate to make it uh, look real so after that has been done then the next thing one we need to do we go back to the gallery then we bring a kind of a flowing axe ice pack so like this we we'll position it here this is amazing then after that we lock the two so the next thing we need to do after that we need to uh, a little bit adjust we need to adjust the logo here the logo we're having here so we bring it to the front okay perfect so after bringing it to the front we are copy it as well after copy 
we'll go back here then sorry we'll go back to eraser so we are going to click on on the cutout where we are going to cut out this particular area so after cutting it out we should be able to have this particular result so we only need the text there we change the color to white perfect change the color to white then we taxes sorry we'll go back to this the logo should build we'll repeat the same process i've increased beyond the size of the pixel life that's why it's automatically closed then we need to just uh, change the color first another thing is uh, let's match something together with it to turn it to picture so that one will give us the avenue to increase it okay then you can see so if you experience that that is the fine best solution just make something together with it but that one will give you clue to merge it but since you extract it from a particular image you might not be able to do that so it will keep on closing so after that uh, the next thing we need to do is to just uh, applying another color to this so that the blur blurriness will not be too much then we enhance it later so after that we have our pepsi you can see we have our pepsi so we have re tasty re tasty okay good so we look at the font which we can use that will make it more better sorry so let's look at here real tasty or something light real tasty so this should be okay good <coughs> come to padding then you re release it so let's change this to capital letter real okay real toaster so free the space in between then reduce the size okay cool so now what we are going to do is to increase the size of this since we have this so we have this the can should come down a bit perfect then uh, we can now bring our retesting around there we we'll position to the center we we'll position to the center very good so now we have our result and this is just a simple trick on how you can manipulate an object on your android smartphone using your pc lab i believe we'll learn something from here Thank for watching. God bless you. See if you're working with Ultra and as Penji for better.